Hey guys, it's Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating for all of you a great time-saving technique that you can use if you are utilizing Google Classroom as your platform for teaching this upcoming school year. And that is scheduling your assignments. The great thing about scheduling your assignments in advance is that it allows you, as you are finishing your planning process, if it's a week advance or two weeks in advance, that you can go ahead and you can do the legwork of posting the assignments without your students actually having access to them until a date and time that you choose. So I have already opened up a practice Google Classroom that I have for myself. This is something that I always recommend for teachers. I used a private account, not my work account, to create um, both a practice class and then to sign up under another private account that I have um, as a student. This way, if you ever have questions as to how something looks for your kids, you can always go on and you can test it out yourself. Okay, um, so once you are in your Google Classroom, you are just going to go to Classwork and no different than when you assign any work to your students, I would then click the Create button, click Assignment, type in the title, so maybe it's going to be a quiz. Okay, I'm just typing something quickly to save some time. I like to keep my videos as short and concise as possible. Uh, instructions, complete quiz. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add, I'm just gonna add a, a random file from my drive. Okay, I can just add my Bitmoji survival kits that I have here. Okay, I'm going to go to make a copy for each student because if it's a quiz, you obviously don't want them answering questions all on the same documents. And then this is where the magic happens. Instead of going ahead and clicking assign, you'll see here to the right, there's a drop down menu. I can go ahead and click that and there are options that pop up. Okay, I can save something as a draft. So if I start something and then I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it, I can always save it. Or I can hit this little option right here that says schedule. Okay, then you're going to have this little box that pops up in the middle of your screen. Okay, and today's date is the 12th. So the next available date that I can schedule something would be the 13th. And that's what defaults right there. Until I go ahead and let's say I wanted this to be scheduled for next week, August 18th. Okay, I can go ahead and click the date. It'll pop up here in the box. And then down here, there is a time. I can click on that and I can put any time in. So if I want this to be released to my students at 7.30 a.m., I can go ahead and type in 7.30 a.m. and then go ahead and hit schedule. Now, normally when you click the assign button for it to be released to your students immediately, whatever color is um, chosen for that class of yours, whether it be green or blue or purple, I've seen a bunch of different colors, um, it's going to actually come up as that solid color with the assignment next to it. However, when you schedule an assignment, it will stay gray, like the example here that you see on my screen, until it is actually released to students. So at that date and time that you choose, it's going to go ahead, it's going to change to that green, and that's how you will know that your students now have access to that assignment. I really hope that this helps all of you save some time. You know, it's great because, you know, we never know internet wise what's going to happen, especially during remote learning. You don't want to have to worry in the morning that, you know, oh my goodness, I can't, you know, post my assignments for today. Uh, this, it doesn't matter if you have internet or not, it will automatically post your assignments for the day. And at least you will know and have peace of mind that your students have their work for the day. So I hope this helped you. Feel free to comment down below if you have any questions. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so that you don't miss my future resources. Take care, everyone.